After what seems like nine years, tonight is finally the first night of the Republican National Convention. <laughs> and they are bringing out the big guns. So be careful, they're Republicans. There will actually be a lot of big guns. <laughs> Um, also, Donald Trump, I hope you saw this, Donald Trump has selected megastar Scott Baio to speak at the convention. <laughs> I'll give you a minute to Google who that is. Uh, <laughs> to tell you how irrelevant Scott Baio is, I've had to have his name phonetically spelled in the teleprompter. <laughs> because it looks like Baio. It looks... <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just going to trust them. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Scott Baio is an actor who played Chachi on the show Happy Days. <laughs> because what better way to reach out to millennials than the star of a show that went off the air while they were still inside their dad's testicles? <laughs> like, I want to meet the person who watches tonight and say, you know what, I've been on the fence, but now that I know Chachi is for Trump, so am I. <laughs> Um, not only is Charchi speaking, uh, but Trump has also tapped former General Hospital star Antonio Sabato Jr. to appear. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I just found my Mr. Right. <laughs> Mr. Right Wing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott... <laughs> Thank you, Guillermo. <laughs> One of my own. Uh, Scott Bayo and Antonio Sabato Jr., like... Those aren't great gets. Like, those wouldn't even be great gets for Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> uh, but Trump's pitch to the American people kicked off with an interview that Trump did with 60 Minutes yesterday, where he introduced the world to his vice presidential pick, Mike Pence. But the, suit, the two didn't seem to agree on everything. I think that's a good thing. He speaks from his heart. And, uh... Well, I, I, I speak from my heart and my brain, just so right. we understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak from their heart. Right. <laughs> you also speak out of your ass. Um, I mean... Come on. I'm guessing you guys couldn't get tickets for the rally, so you came here, right? That what it is? I mean, look, look at what he said toward the end of the interview. You're not known to be a humble man, but I wonder... I think I am actually humble. I think I'm much more humble than you would understand. I'm more humble than you would understand. That is a crazy thing to say. It's even crazier to say that while sitting in a chair made of gold. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at that room, right? Look at it there. <laughs> that room is like what a child thinks a rich person's house should look like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It looks like there should be a dancing candlestick in the background. 